Brighton are in spectacular form. They are now sixth in the Premier League, and they have taken the scalps of some big teams this year. But is this form something that we should be looking at as one-off, or do we think this is a trend that is going to continue? Gaurav, what do you think? Uh, as someone who's been spanked by them three times this season, uh, I I can't really sit here and say, oh, it's a one-off, because clearly it's not. Um, no, I think there's a general upward trend in the way that, that Brighton have performed over the last few years. Uh, since they came into the league, um, you know, they they fought off relegation a couple of seasons, and then they've been categorically pretty averagely mid-table consistently. And since Graham Potter has left, I think that's kind of the most surprising and positive indication that the club in itself is on the right trajectory is that they didn't even bat an eyelid after Graham Potter left, who was credited with a lot of the success that they've had and their rise to, you know, be mid table and not be fighting off relegation. And without really skipping like a, a single heartbeat or batting like an eyelid, they've just kind of carried on in stride, played great football, taken a lot of big scalps, and have just gone about their merry way. Like, even after losing Trossard, doesn't seem to make a difference to these guys. I know. It's look, I when I was looking into it, they've got their owner, Bloom. Um, and I think he's actually the big person behind this. He, you would think that, Pot, and I was in the same boat as you, I thought that Potter was the main reason why Brighton did well. And he is a, he is a great manager. But Bloom put in a structure in place in terms of recruitment, whether that be player or manager. Um, And they've also got great data analytics. So they have a price on a player. If they want to sell them on, they'll sell them on. But they have a replacement ready. And their targeting is absolutely fantastic. And you've seen that not only in the replacement of uh, players, but you've also got that in the replacement of the manager, and Potter. So you've got Deserby, who's just awesome. Um, And... You would. I thought that uh, when Brighton beat United at the start of the season, God, look at us getting beaten by Brighton. But they've steadily been incredible throughout. And I mean, come on, they they beat you three times. But I don't think it was it was something to be ashamed about because I think Brighton are here to stay, and it seems like they're going to stay for a while. They're in a European spot now. Yeah, when we lost to them that first game of the season, I was like, oh man, like we're in a really bad way. But there were other teams I was still looking forward to playing, regardless of how poor like our performance was. But as the season went on, like the next couple of fixtures with Brighton kind of just became like a foregone conclusion where it was like, I hope we play well, but I'm pretty sure we're going to lose here. And I think a lot of teams will now look at Brighton and think if you get a draw against them, it's not a bad result. Like whether you're challenging for top four or whether you're like, you know, competing for the title. I think Brighton are the great equalizer in the league this year where they've shown teams who think they're doing really well exactly where they currently are and teams that perhaps think that it's all doom and gloom if they get a decent result against Brighton or don't get blown away by Brighton it's a good marker and I think Brighton and teams like Brighton teams having a season like Brighton is what's been missing in the league for like 10 years now where you've just had you basically had one maybe two teams challenging for their for the title and then you've had three teams usually gunning for the remaining top four spots and you've had a pretty you know cordoned off top six with teams like brighton playing the way that they've done over the last few years and the fact that that trajectory is quite likely to continue i wish there were three more brightons in the league because if there were three more brightons in the league man you would go back to having titles won off of like 80 points 85 points or you know because the league just is that much more competitive. And I think this is really good for Brighton, obviously, but it's fantastic for the Premier League to have a team like Brighton taking so many scalps and, you know, doing it at the budget that they've done. It's a good sign. 
Look, I, I tend to agree with you. Um, I think that the one similarity that I would have thought would have been the case would have been Leicester when they won the league. Uh, but they were decimated the following season and they finished eighth, I believe it was. And then they were in and about trying to challenge for the top four, not quite making it. Um, and they fell off. But you look at Brighton, there's been a continuous rise from mid-table to ninth last season. And now they're sixth and they're... I think they're comfortably sixth as well. They've got a couple. Uh, they've got a couple of games in hand on Tottenham um, and a game in hand on some other teams. So I wouldn't rule them out for European competition this year. And I think you're absolutely right that the stability that Brighton has brought to the league and shown what teams can do. I think it's something. They're a model that other clubs should look at, even the top clubs, because. I mean, you've got Liverpool in transition, you've got United who have been in transition for 10 years, and you've got Chelsea by who back practically stolen so many players from their squad, and Brighton are still there competing at the highest level. And I think that's remarkable. I fully agree with you that if there were more teams like Brighton, the team league would be more competitive, and you wouldn't be getting teams reaching above 90-plus points. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Brighton is a one-off, or do you think they are stabilized enough that they are now proper European contenders in the league. Like and subscribe, guys. It will go a long way, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.